Welcome back to the Majority Report. Michael Brooks here. Joining us now, David Feldman. He's a comedian. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. <laughs> you know, I've got to tell you, I've been doing this show for a couple of years now. Yes. Look at that face. It doesn't sound good today. I don't know what it is, Sam. You have a cold? Oh, you bastard. Go ahead. Man. One thing that stands out about the David Feldman show is it's extremely long. <laughs> and thick. It's very long. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting i, I love, I love you, you too all right i love you too thanks david all right, all right. hey are we off the air because you were so much better than sam he's an asshole <laughs> <laughs> and completed perfect call all right i'll be off the air thank you brother okay, right. thank you. back to the majority report casual friday michael brooks here Joining us now is the host, the illustrious host of the David Feldman Show. Yeah. Hey, hey. So I just have to keep this short because I'm doing Sam Cedar's show today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? So uh, I'll. But I, you know, until they call me, because I'm expecting a call <laughs> from Sam Cedar. So the minute he calls, I have to hang up. But I love your, you know, I love your show. So. Yeah, you like the, the uh, I, sort of A for effort kind of thing. You. David Feldman, I please. Love you, I love you I so love you. much. You're a... I love your show. I love Sam's show, and I love your show. And I love when you like talk to Professor Richard Wolf and go, so what's the deal with your dad? You ever kick it with them? You still get along with your dad? I love how you probe into their personal life. <laughs> get them to talk about <laughs> their struggles. Like, no, he's doing a fucking Marin bit. <laughs> Yeah, I have Richard Wolf on. I go like, he studied Altasir, but who are your guys? <laughs> <laughs> Lenin man. <laughs> I tried to read Lenin once after a terrible breakup. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, David. I love you, thank uh, and you. joining to commiserate with us on this just embarrassing. I mean, first of all, two. Endorsing two candidates in a sort of pathetic pseudo woke play, totally disrespecting Bernie Sanders, is uh, to to help with the catharsis. Here is David Feldman. He's host of the David Feldman Show, stand up comedian, writer for any number of people, from Triumph the Insult Comic Dog to Dennis Miller. Back yeah. in the time when Dennis Miller was funny, they tell me, uh, and he's also a huge Bernie bro, major supporter of the movement. David Feldman, Big. thanks for being here. Big, big Bernie bro, big from way back, before you were born. Before, I'm, you know, I'm a socialist from way back. I, I, uh, David Brooks and I belong to the same <laughs> socialist book, club of the, the, the Book of the Month Club uh, before you were born. Oh, okay. David Brooks, big socialist. Yeah. What were you guys I, reading? I, oh, the uh, Marx, Engels. Uh, I was a red diaper baby. Uh, <laughs> my parents weren't, my parents weren't, uh, communists. I was born with irritable bowel syndrome. Oh. And, uh, oh. That's why I was a red dot. But listen, I'm pissed off. So I don't want to make any jokes here. David Feldman, I <laughs> there. See, there we go again. You invite me on the show. It's like the time I did Tucker Carlson. I hate you. With time I, like, this reminds me of the time I did Tucker Carlson. <laughs> And they caught me stealing a copy of Mein Kampf from the green room. <laughs> Everybody finds David Feldman's latent anti-Semitism and apologies for the insurance industry at the David Feldman Show, which is a fantastic <laughs> podcast you can subscribe to. I iTunes. love doing, I love being an asshole. I just love it. <laughs> I love you, David <laughs> Feldman. <laughs> David actually is too. incredibly smart and supports Bernie. David, have an amazing night. Thanks a million. Thank you. I love you. Thank I love you too. Okay. David, floor is yours. You got it half right. You support Bernie. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He, he said that you were very smart and you supported Bernie. So I said you, yes. you got it half right. That was the joke. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You're really upset. I'm sorry. I'll stop. No, no, no. I'm just. No, uh, no. I've seen this before. <laughs> You've crossed the line with me, Andy. David's David's got to speed it up. He's got a heist to get to. Uh, <laughs> bye, hey, bye. hey. Some of us weren't born with enough hair. And it takes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a protected class.
Is that got the red lasers in it or? (laughs) (laughs) I have to, before I go on camera, I have to do a little touch up work. I understand. On my hair transplants. Well, we've got, I've got more extended clips of, of the centrist Feldman bit as as I call it that we can watch later. But um, yeah, David, you know, if you had some thoughts about any of those clips or just every, you know, when you went. Well, on. the two, the two things that uh, I didn't know about Michael, really, I heard about him through Alex Brazell, who put him on my show through Andy Kindler. Andy Kindler was the one who turned us on to Michael's comedic chops. You were a big uh, supporter of, of, michaels early on you, you, i'm shaking my head like you know what i got it right again you did you yeah, did I and the, the, right the other back. thing that i don't know if my ego i'm gonna be because i with 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 sam i don't know if i could uh see somebody coming along on my show that talented <laughs> every day that had to be uh most people couldn't uh, put up with that you know having somebody that talented it's it, it's I'm, I'm being complimentary I except should leno up. leno used to do that leno loves to make <laughs> other people that's what he told me once if i can make someone else funny that's all i care about no i mean it was uh to recognize his gifts and not uh want to crush his skull that's a natural instinct <laughs> in in this business is you see somebody and you go, well, this guy's really talented. I have to destroy him. But you didn't do that. Why not? I, mean, I, I didn't want to crush <laughs> his skull, but it wasn't so much. I mean, it wasn't a, a, a function of his talent. I mean, I, I always had it. It was always very difficult for me to integrate my comedy with, with, with the doing the show that I wanted to do. And so mm-hmm. in, 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 at one point, I mean, it took a while to, for it to develop, but within like two years, we hit like a three or four year, um, just sort of like glide path where it was just, I, I thought, sort of perfect. And I mean, it wasn't it, you know, club, you, like what I love about it is you, you were able to do really great satir- satire because the audience, you had cultivated an audience that was in on the joke. And you didn't have to go generic like Andy Kindler, who can play to you know anybody because he's, he's, he's he was accessible. known as a starker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Star- yeah. Hey, uh, David, can you take this all again, but don't do it as casual Hitler? Just do it as <laughs> oh. Hey, wait. Well, okay. These. This is. He just, wiped off the mustache. <laughs> this is. Too, this, is too, this is too perfect. Speaking of uh, casual Hitler, um, Andy. <laughs> Here's, it is pretty. Excuse me for one second. It it does look like a Hitler. I, You're I not I'm just like finding it. it out now, are you? <laughs> this it's is a, like a bad episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Did you, did you cover every uh, mirror in your apartment? What's going on? <laughs> I trimmed my beard today for this, and I didn't realize God is playing a joke on me that oh, everything stop. else is gray. <laughs> did except you not the, know that? No, I swear to you. What's the difference between a bad episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm and a regular episode <laughs> of Curb Your Enthusiasm? Hey, that episode, that episode David's in, the baptism is a good one. Let me fit. Let me finish. <laughs> that's the kind of show we need to see on television, and that's the kind of a man who could do comedy against a man like Larry David, who deserves where he is and deserves even more success. 